Hello and welcome to Bro Duel. I'm Dom. And I'm with Standing, and welcome to episode 4 of Bits and Bobs, where we outline this week's best mods. To start us off, we have a mod that will turn you into the Master of Time. The mod adds three spells, Slow Time, Freeze Time, and Blessing of Time. Slow Time will slow down time to 1 one hundredth of its regular speed for everyone except you. If that's not good enough, there's Freeze Time, which will slow down time even slower to a crawl. The final spell is Blessing of Time, which will help you out when you're in need, slowing down time when your health drops below 35%. Next up we have the Eyes of Beauty mod which adds a whole bunch of different realistic and law friendly eye textures. Right now there's over 20 new eye textures available for male and female characters. And although they are better fit for human races, the creator is continually updating the mod to add textures for Argonians, as well as the most recent update adding 22 new textures for elves. If you're a fan of aesthetic mods you should definitely keep your eye on this one. If you're looking for something that'll set your character apart from the rest, Question Mark's Magnus armor set might be the mod for you. The mod adds the Magnus robe and hood as wearable clothes, as well as a powered version of each that have powerful enchantments. You can make all of the items at a smelter, and the set is designed for Khajiits and Argonians as well as the humanoid races, and the author guarantees it'll fit anyone, as long as you don't have a beard. And now to another armour mod that you might have seen before. The male cleric armour mod has been re-released with variants. This means that you can now either install clothing, light, or heavy variants of the armour, or all three at once, without clashing. The armor's stats vary depending on which variant you choose, as well as the price of the items and their crafting recipes. If you've never seen the male cleric armor mod before, then I can tell you that it boasts a variety of different options, and that you can actually mix and match between a variety of different colors, torsos, and more. Next up we have a mod that utilizes some of Skyrim's own designs to create a useful weapon that some people have been asking for. A Daedric Longsword is a one-handed version of a Daedric Greatsword. So for those of you who preferred the design of a Daedric Greatsword over the looks of a one-handed sword, this mod is probably a welcome addition to Skyrim. You can make the Daedric Longsword at any forge, just like the other Daedric Swords, and you'll need all of the appropriate smithing requirements, making this mod 100% law friendly. The Unlimited Blade Works mod adds three spells that will summon swords from the skies to damage your enemies. The story behind the spells leads to them needing to be cast several times in order for the spell to take effect. Every time you cast the spell before the final casting, the spell will read from a paragraph until the final spell shouts Unlimited Blade Works. Two of the three spells can be used anywhere, have different areas of effect, and deal different amounts of damage. However, one of the spells will actually teleport you and your enemies to an island where swords will fall from the sky and deal a large amount of damage. To fully experience the mod, we recommend you download and try it out for yourself. Moving on to something a little more calm, Riverside Lodge is a player home near Whiterun, with all of the amenities an adventurer would ever need. The home has several features, like plenty of storage space, fully equipped enchanting and alchemy labs, a crafting room with a forge, workbench, grindstone, smelter and tanning rack, and a kitchen with a cooking pot and containers for food. The house also offers storage for your weapons and armour with mannequins and weapon racks, and even has a small stable to keep your horse in. This next mod adds a new bow called the Doomshard Bow into Skyrim. The bow was originally made for Oblivion, but the creator also decided to port it over to Skyrim. The bow has the same stats as a Daedric bow, and comes without any enchantments, and you can either find the bow in Hag's End, or craft one for yourself under the Daedric menu. This small aesthetic mod simply adds a craftable pair of Khajiit ears to your craft list. You'll find them under the Jewelry tab, and they only require a single fox pelt. The ears are more broad than a typical pair of Khajiit ears, so they're more cat-like, but they're still a fun and interesting add-on to Skyrim. And now for another spell mod, the Force Ice mod adds a new spell which freezes most enemies in your path, as well as dealing cold damage. As you can see in the video, the spell doesn't work on large enemies such as mammoths or dragons, but it will work on giants and other smaller creatures. We know there are vanilla spells that can freeze, but this spell will freeze the enemy 100% of the time, and it's always fun to freeze moving targets in Skyrim. This next mod adds several capes and hoods to Skyrim, all styled around the style of a ranger. The hoods are available in three different weights, normal, light and heavy, and each features a slightly different design from the last to tell them apart. The hoods also affect the hairstyle of the character as you can see, with each colour of hood giving a different hair colour. There are also a few basic capes added, but the one we liked the most was the recently added butterfly cape. The design is really distinctive and is something we definitely recommend you try it out. And we'll be leaving you with a mod that fits in nicely with the time of the year. The easter egg hunt mod scatters 205 easter eggs across the world of Skyrim with 25 eggs in each of the major cities. All of the eggs can be found outdoors and within the city limits, but it's still a challenge to find the eggs hidden in bushes or between rocks. 
And that's it for this week's episode of Bits and Bobs. We're currently going through all of the mod suggestions on our recent videos, so remember to let us know down below if you want us to review a particular mod. Thanks for watching.